Next, I would like to introduce Maelstrom, our physically based destruction system. And I would like to do that with a video that I believe speaks for itself. That is crazy. That's crazy. See the water splashes? This is something that I never expected uh, CIG ever doing. I think this was one of the um, unannounced features that they said that I think they um, pro I think it was probably on the, on the uh, progress tracker. There, there were there are a few features that says unannounced or, or or something like that on the progress tracker, and um, this is probably one of them. You know, this is this is crazy. I didn't think they would take it to this level, and um, but I'm glad that they did because it adds to it adds to the the level of immersion in the game. You know, it it's it's crazy to see, man. It's like battlefield. And all kinds, all types of different games all put in one. It seems like what they're trying to do here. But I wonder how this is going to work, right? When it, in terms of the persistent universe, I believe there will be some places where you can destroy some structures that can be destruct, um, that are destructible and some that will not be destructible. For example, um, I don't think certain outposts will be destructible or else, um, especially like if there's missions tied to them. You know, so I don't think I don't think that they'll be destructible, but I think random locations um, they will have as destructible. So, um, yeah, but we'll see. We'll see how they implement this into the persistent universe and we'll 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 see. We want players' intuitive prediction of the effect a weapon or a collision has to actually happen in the engine or in the game. So we decided to move away from hit point pools or other abstract models to simulate damage, but rather have damage be calculated from a physical model and from the physical material properties of each entity. If something breaks off due to its structural integrity decreasing bef below a certain threshold, Meltstrom allows it to break off in a realistic fashion. If you shoot off a wing, the missiles and weapons on that wing should still remain attached. If the broken off part still has power, electric items should still function. This means Meltstrom was needed to be designed mm. to work with a hierarchical setup to begin with, from the hierarchical representation of the geometry we want to break off to the same hierarchy on a higher level item for items like power plants, lights, weapon systems, and so on. Maelstrom is persistence and networking ready. We designed it from the ground up to work with high latency situations mm, to persist and replicate easily. Wow, that's impressive. That's impressive. The fact that they're taking into account the um, the structures of the ships in terms of the electrical fuel, all those things are all um, taken into account, you know. And um, yeah, even with the engineering gameplay as well, it's it's all connected. I like the fact it seems like they really planned this out well. Um, I, I'm really curious to see how this translates into into the game for sure. To achieve all this, we gave each physical geometry instance an identifier to be able to uniquely identify it within the universe. So your gladius wing is your gladius wing. We added 
physical material and damage properties that can now be replicated across the, the network. One of them, and that's the most important one, we call integrity. And this determines how much structural or internal integrity a physical geometry has. Integrity is modified from dissipating or rather absorbing energy from kinetic impacts or energy weapons, and also in the future from absorbing energy from external factors like extreme temperature or fire, as you've seen before. We also track which physical part or geometry the, uh, belongs to which visual geometry and which high-level entity. So if the structural or inter internal integrity collapses, we know which visual geometry is affected and which item might be affected as well. So a power plant will cease to emit power or implode, explode. A weapon will cease to fire and so on. To make things break apart, we create what we call breakable clusters. A breakable cluster is a set of physical geometry, the visual geometry, and the entities on top that can break off. Between breakable clusters, we create abstract cantilever beams to be able to model stress and strain. I'll go into more detail in that in a bit. Breakable clusters are hierarchical. They mirror the hierarchy of all attached entities involved. They also embed the hierarchy of all animated joints. And they also embed the hierarchy of all That's physical geometries. The right they essentially represent a ground truth of the entire hierarchy necessary to perform all our goals for Maelstrom. This image is showing a breakable cluster graph of the Gladius. I'd like to show one more video of Maelstrom before we continue. Oh man, that's crazy. That's impressive. We needed to find a good way to easily and efficiently so determine this, when a break. So this is going to this is going to add to um, ship destruction in terms of ship to ship combat. This is going to add to ship to ship destruction, and it's going to really make disabling and. Um, yeah, ship to ship combat is going to be interesting. When you disable ships, you can destroy certain parts of it. You can destroy the the engines, and then they can't go anywhere. You know, so this is going to add a lot to the game, man. This this is really interesting stuff. I can't wait to. I hope we see this sooner than later, so that we could actually uh, start experimenting with it. Breakable cluster breaks. We chose a well-established model from material sciences and structural engineering, cantilever beams. In essence, a cantilever, be a cantilever is a structural member that has a fixed support and a free end. Forces experienced on the free end can be used to calculate the amount of stress the fixed support is enduring. The basic be Ideas behind that are best explained from a very simple example. If a ship were to collide with the horizontal part of the crane in the image, far from the vertical part, the fixed support would endure a higher stress as if the ship were to collide closer to the vertical part. But not only does the point of impact determine how much stress the cantilever beam experiences, also how large the surface area is uh, connecting the cantilever and the fixed support has a large influence on when a cantilever beam will break. In our case, this actually means we analyze the cross-section of the intersection of the set of geometry from two breakable clusters to calculate the surface area. 
A wing attached to the body has a rather large connecting surface area compared to the surface area calculated for the stabilizers connected to the body. We then project forces from impacts and explosions onto these cantilever beams and calculate the stress the beams experience. Over time, this stress turns into strain, and if we reach a certain threshold, the beam snaps. The result, simple, efficient, and deterministic breakability. But this is not just about ships and buildings that you saw in the videos before. We want Maelstrom to be a systemic system that we can use on all types of entities. So here is some video of some test footage of AI shooting each other behind breakable cover and maelstrom barrels. That's pretty cool. Physical material properties influence damage and breaking and have a direct influence to how things break and fracture. To achieve this, we added various properties, density, yield strength, resilience, thickness, toughness, Young's modulus. And this is more or less what I wanted to talk about Maelstrom, but I don't want to leave without showing one more video of what carnage Maelstrom can, co can create. It's impressive, it's impressive. So thank you very much. And with that. It's really good, man. It's, it's, I'm really excited for Maelstrom. It's a, it's a good tech. And uh, it's going to add a lot to the game, to be honest, man. It's going to add a lot to the game. Just imagine like somebody's uh, like wing of a ship that has a component attached to it gets broken off during combat somewhere and then you you fly by and you see it on the ground and you see the the gun is still attached to it you can just go to it and grab the gun and you're gone that's going to be really cool you know because it's, it's definitely going to add a lot to the game man all right you guys let me know your thoughts down below i'll see you guys on the next video